it's the crypto lightsaber back with another video and in today's video i want to do a very short analysis on theta okay guys we're also going to take a quick look at t fuel uh, being the sister coin of theta um or the fuel for theta theta fuel t fuel um but right now you can see i have a very large falling wedge on theta which is the pattern i'm looking at right now um which has broken bullish in my opinion okay guys the volume is very good on theta it's got a very strong community behind it they've got a very strong project fundamentally and very strong team all right guys uh, uh especially having its roots in uh, uh one of the founders is uh, uh one of the co-founders of uh, youtube uh which is what i'm using right now youtube okay guys uh so i think that this project is definitely one that you shouldn't sleep on and one that could have a very bright future um going back to the chart we can see there's there is a falling wedge and we have a breakout the very untidy lines okay guys uh which have been the case for most of the charts or my charts lately as you can see even if we try and tighten up that line okay guys and get the tightest line we can get say for example like that you can see we do have a breakout of that level uh, we want to see some candle body closes but i'm very confident that uh that we will get that okay and right now we are looking on a four hour if we go on a one day uh you'll be able to see that it does look like there is a a bullish uh candle and some nice volume coming in however there is that little bit of resistance once it touches that uh, 99 day close over here um so there could be a little bit of a rejection there but i reckon with this volume we may get some bullish follow through and with the fact that it is a breakout of a falling wedge bullish okay guys so i think that theta uh should be on your radar uh, if it isn't already and i think that we might see some nice gains out of theta of course uh, the ultimate target would be the top of the wedge okay guys uh, roughly around this area got the wrong tool uh roughly around this top area over here okay guys so that would be a beautiful target and the lower targets i mean that will be the ultimate target the lower targets will obviously be each point of resistance we know we've got resistance coming up here but like i said a breakout of the falling wedge with the volume is probably going to push through this little uh, resistance level here so the next level of resistance will be around this level okay guys and moving up we've got this level we've got that level okay guys but these are the two targets this will be the first target for me and if it does push through that nine dollars and 59 or nine dollars and 60 cents i reckon we could go all the way up to the previous highs of about 14 dollars and 58 cents and um we have some uh, we have seen some tokens just break straight through those barriers straight through resistance all right guys so we'll see if if theta has that kind of strength uh, to push through in the short to mid term um, but yeah, I think this is a good hold for you to hold at the moment. Theta is definitely one to watch. And of course, when Theta moves, a lot of the time you get T Fuel moving as well. T Fuel is lower in market cap and is much more volatile. If you want to play it safe, I would say stick with Theta. If you do want to play it a little bit more aggressively, I would say, you know, you know, there's no harm in buying T Fuel uh, because when it pumps, it pumps twice as much as Theta. Um, and, and you know obviously you're gonna make a lot more a lot more gains out of that so you can see it has broken out of this channel previously of resistance okay and now we've got another kind of falling wedge type channel and it is it does look like it's breaking out of here of course the target for that would be the top of that uh, roughly about that area about 38 cents okay guys so in fact let's just measure that and see uh, uh what kind of profit potential you could get out of that. that's about a 20 percent move okay guys and obviously if it gets that follow through then you know we've got all of these areas to start from a testing but the volume is not looking amazing at the moment and sometimes um they do lag behind each other like uh, behind each other t fuel might pump and then theta might take a while or theta might pump and then t fuel will catch up all right guys but right now i think the the, the most bullish chart would not be t fuel of course that is the most aggressive and for a short term swing or a short term you know a scalp trade you could get about 20 percent out of that if it does pop to the upside based on the fact that theta is moving but like i said theta is the one that i'm looking at okay let's just go back down to the four hour time frame the volume looks good 
got to break out of that level and i think it's more clear cut that we'll kind of see this level over here all right guys so um i just wanted to do a quick video put that on your radar and remember guys i'm not looking i'm not using many technical indicators here this is just based on the pattern okay guys uh, a lot of time these patterns uh, a lot of people are looking for these patterns and a lot of people trade based on these patterns people set up bots based on these patterns and um yeah i think you know that, that, that's how i do it guys i don't need to get too technical on you i mean yeah i mean i sometimes use the rsi but it tricks me a lot personally uh the macd um you know uh, those indicators can be all over the place and of course it's all at the mercy of bitcoin isn't it okay guys so obviously bitcoin is moving it is moving and it looks like it might roll over we are on a 15 minute chart so let's not count that in uh that's a very short very very short term movement okay but that is very that look that looks really bullish there that looks really bullish but it's, it needs to kind of push past this level and get past this 42k level for us to be super bullish uh on this because it could just roll over all right guys but based on the timing right now uh the you know the, the uh, with with more with more than halfway through the week in fact we are more or less at the end of the week i think that it will probably be a a potentially bullish weekend for bitcoin uh, of course if it carries on moving towards the upside over the next 24 hours it's probably be a bullish weekend for bitcoin and you know a lot of people will be happy uh, we don't really want to see a major pump through the weekend as usual because you know that's going to leave you know gaps on the future charts and stuff like that and you know bitcoin likes to come down and test the gaps all right guys so i would like to see it consolidate um and not go too crazy throughout the weekend and the more it consolidates as well that'll give a lot of room for the altcoins to do some major things and then uh once we go into next week hopefully we can get that bullish momentum sunday night and that will push us through this level um but it could take a while guys okay so uh theta uh are you bullish on theta let me know in the comments if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe uh like the video smash the like button guys that helps with the algorithm and i'll see you in the next video